بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم It isn't where you came from. It's where you are going that counts. Today, my topic of presentation is Nazaria Gnoria. Learning outlines are the introduction, epidemiological tri uh, triad, chain of transmission, levels of prevention, and the recent advances. At the end of this presentation, my colleague would have the understanding of the Gnoria, its epidemiological aspects, and the recent advances. What is gonorrhea? It's a bacterial infection caused by the Neisseria gonorrhea causes urogenital, anorectal, conjunctival, and the pharyngeal infections. Urogenital tract infections are the most common. It is the second most frequently reported bacterial sexually transmitted infection after chlamydia trichomatis. Its uh, co-infection with the chlamydia trichomatis is common. Gonorrhea is also sometimes called as the clap or the drip. Its classification. Uh, number one, gonorrhea of the urogenital organs, the genitalia. Number second is the extra genital gonorrhea, gonorrhea of mouth, rectum, pharynx, tonsils, and the eyes. Number third is the metastatic or the disseminated, which is a complication of the first two types. History: the exact time when the gonorrhea started cannot be ascertained. Earliest records of the disease are found from the 1161. when the english parliament enacted a law to ensure that the spread of the infection is decreased and the curb this shows the magnitude of the public health problem this infection had caused then problem statement according to the world health organization there were estimated to be more than 1 million stis acquired every day worldwide in 2016 and each year there are an estimated 357 million new infections with one of the four stis chlamydia gonorrhea syphilis and the trichomoniasis now the epidemiological triad which consists of agent host and the environmental factors now first is the agent factors it is caused by the gram negative diplococci gonococcus nazaria gonorrhea diplococcus have a length of 1.25 to 1.6 microns and 0.7 to 0.8 microns in cross section It shapes like a coffee beans, concave surface facing each other. Gonococcus main pathogenic organism adapted to destroy the mucous membrane covered with the columnar epithelium. In patients' body, gonococci often undergo L transformation after using the therapy chemotherapeutic drugs. Host natural host is the human. Environmental factors: organism is fragile and cannot survive outside of the human host. affected by the temperature changing drying uv light and other environmental stresses organism cannot be transmitted from clothing in toilet seats or household utensils to the healthy persons organism can infect any sexual active person even if they are healthy mode of transmission transmission uh, transmitted through the sexual contact for the penis vagina mouth or the anus of the infected partner perinatally from the mother to the baby during the childbirth incubation period is about 1 to 14 days and the onset of symptoms within 2 to 8 days risk factors for the gonococcal infections in adults young age uh, younger age than 25 years black race history of gonococcal infections or other stis inconsistent condom use homosexuals men new or the multiple sex partners prostitution and the drug abuse in children mothers with the history of the sti or the drug abuse mothers without the prenatal care not receiving the ophthalmic prophylaxis at birth and the sexual abuse pathogenesis agent leads to this attachment to the host cells with the crocsy movement travels through the lymph nodes in the perivascular lymphatics causes the endarteritis obliterans loss of blood supply and the genitalia cells clinical features in men it can lead to discharge pain or the swelling between the thighs or the inguinal region burning or the painful menstruation in women discharge of vaginal discharge burning or the painful urination pain in the lower abdomen abnormal bleeding from the vagina or the anus in females untreated gonorrhea causes 10 to 20% of the pelvic inflammatory disease 15% of women with the prd develops infertility from tubal scarring 
CDC recommends that symptomatic women should be examined for the PID by palpating for cervical or adenoxal tenderness and tested for the chlamydia, gonorrhea, bacterial vaginosis, and trichomoniasis with endocervical swabs for light microscopy and nucleic acid amplification testing. Usually the males are symptomatic, but asymptomatic urethral infections may occur in at least 10% of the cases. Urine later epididymitis without any discharge may also be present. Chlamydia causes for 15 to 40% of the non gonococcal urethritis cases in men. One to 2% of men who have non gonococcal urethritis develop sexually acquired reactive arthritis. Infection in infants. It can occur in units from the exposure to the infected cervical secretions during the delivery, which may lead to neonatal conjunctivitis, arthritis, pharyngitis, retinitis, vaginitis, urethritis, localized scalp infections or abscesses, sepsis, and meningitis. Disseminated infection. Disseminated gonococcal infection is rare, affecting about 0.4 to 3% of the patients with gonorrhea. Examples include the skin infection, tenosynovitis, septic arthritis, rarely the disease progress and result in the perihepatitis, meningitis, and endocarditis. Here are some signs and symptoms of the disease. Now the complications. Gonorrhea can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease in females and epididymitis in males, which may lead to infertility and the disseminated gonococcal infections which is characterized by most common sign symptoms is this arthritis and dinosinovitis and dermatitis. Levels of prevention. Primary prevention includes the health promotion and specific protection. Health education is abstaining from the sexual activity, increased condom use, sexual ed education, and increased routine STI screening. National Network of the STD Clinical Prevention Training Centers, the consultation service is intended for the licensed healthcare professional and STD program staff. They provide the direct medical care, treatment planning, or the medical treatment services to the individuals. Consultations are based on the information provided by the caller without the benefit of a direct evaluation and examination of the patient. Specific protection. In January 2019, the World Health Organization convened a multidisciplinary international group of experts to lay the groundwork for understanding the potential health, economic, and societal value of the gonococcal vaccines and their likely acceptance and use and for developing the gonococcal vaccine prior product characteristics. Evidence suggests zero group B Nizaria meningitis vaccine might provide some cross protection against the Nizaria gonorrhea and new gonococcal vaccine candidate based on several approaches are currently in the preclinical development. Secondary prevention includes the early diagnosis and preventive treatment. Diagnostic tests are the testing urine, urethral or the endocervical or vaginal specimen using the nucleic acid amplification testing. Nucleic acid amplification tests have the high sensitivity and specificity in symptomatic and high prevalence populations. Gonorrhea culture, which requires the endocervical or uterus swab specimens. If the person had the oral, anal, or pharyngeal or the uh, anal sex, pharyngeal or the rectal swab specimens should be collected either for the culture or for the nucleic acid amplification testing. Treatment. Gonorrhea is treated with the antibiotics. Treatment is recommended for the person who has the positive gonorrhea test, anyone who had the sexual contact in the past 60 days with a person diagnosed with the gonorrhea whether or not they have the symptoms or use condoms. Here's a recent update on, uh, provided by the CDC on the treatment guidelines for the gonococcal infection 2020, in which the CDC recommends a single 500 milligram IM dose of the septic zone for the uncomplicated gonorrhea and treatment for the co-infection with chlamydia trichomatis with oral doxycycline should be administered with the chlamydia infection has, been, has not been excluded. This is the guideline CDC provided for the gonococcal infection 2020 for the uh, uncomplicated gonococcal infection of cervix, urethra, rectum, and the pharynx. The WHO guidelines for the treatment of the Nizaria gonorrhea is provided into the strong recommendations and the conditional recommendations, the WHO STI guideline recommendations for patients, clinicians, and the policymakers. 
uh, it ensures the effective treatment for all the STIs. WHO plan a phasic approach to updating the STI guidelines to address a range of infections and the issues. Four phases have been proposed by the WHO STI Secretariat and agreed upon by the STI guideline development group members. Phase one includes the treatment of the specific STIs like chlamydia trichomatis, Nizaria gonorrhea, and herpes simplex as to antroponema pallidum. While the phase two includes the STI prevention, condoms, behavior change communication, biomedical interventions, and vaccines. Phase three includes the treatment of the specific STIs which are not included in the phase one. And phase four includes the STI laboratory diagnosis and screening. HIV infections. Having a gonorrhea infection also puts a person at greater risk for contracting the HIV. You know, it can spread to the blood, joints, and this condition can be life-threatening. Patients who have the gonorrhea and HIV infection should receive the same treatment regime as those with the HIV negative. Ophthalmian interim prophylaxis, erythromycin ophthalmic ointment in each eye in, in a single application at birth. Now the drug resistant is area gonorrhea. These are the high consequence antibiotic resistance threats because of the signals and risk identified across the several criteria. These threats may not be currently widespread but have the potential to become so and require the urgent public health attention to identify the infections and to limit the transmissions. Here is an article on the antimicrobial resistance in the Nazaria gonorrhea and the treatment of the gonorrhea. First global treatment failure with recommended dual therapy was reported in 2016, and the first isolate with combined septrexone resistance and high level erythromycin resistance were reported in 2018 in the UK and Australia. Screening the US preventive services. And uh, trial force recommends the routine screening for the gonorrhea in all the sexually active women at increased risk of infection, including during pregnancy, but recommends against the screening glorious men and women. Routine screening for the gonorrhea and other curable STIs should be performed at least annually in sexually active patients with HIV infection. Screening for the urethral infections should be performed with urine nucleic acid amplification testing, whereas the rectal or the pharyngeal screening should be performed with the nucleic acid amplification swabs. Screening every three to six months also is recommended for men who have the sex with men or have multiple because they are at the high risk of contracting STIs. Uninfected pregnant women who remain at risk should be tested during the third trimester. Gonococcal Isolate Surveillance Project Profiles 2018. The Gonococcal Isolate Surveillance Project is a national sentinel service system was established in 1986 to monitor the trends in the antimicrobial susceptibilities of Nazaria gonorrhea strains in the US among the selected sexually transmitted disease clinics in approximately 25 to 30 sentinel sites. Point by point progress, gonorrhea point of care tests point of care tests for the Nazaria gonorrhea are urgently needed to control the gonorrhea epidemic so the patients can receive immediate diagnosis and the treatment. Currently, there are two FDA cleared assays that have been recognized for the use at the point of the clinical encounter, which can provide results in either 30 or 90 minutes. Other promising assays are in the pipeline. Genotypic antimicrobial testing for the gonorrhea for ciprofloxacin by PCR is possible by the research assays but there is not yet a test that is available as a commercial point of care test assess for the Nizaria gonorrhea. Nizaria gonorrhea vaccine development. Nizaria gonorrhea and the Nizaria meningitis shares about 80 to 90% of homology or primary sequencing, and thus some level of the cross protection is plausible. A case control study in New Zealand wherein group B outer membrane vesicle monococcal uh, meningococcal vaccine has been used for years suggests a decrease in the gonorrhea infection in those who have received the outer membrane vesicle meningococcal vaccination. Expanding on this platform could provide a template for the successful gonococcal vaccine or a broader Nazaria vaccine incorporating gonococcal antigens. Is another article advancing vaccination development for the gonorrhea and the global STI vaccine roadmap. 
efforts are undergoing to gain the consensus on the gonorrhea vaccine target populations, implementation strategies, and other preferred products, statuses that could make the these vaccinations uh, suitable for use in low and middle income, as well as the high income contexts. Development of vaccine against the STIs, bioinformatic analysis have been used to assess the similarity of the prototype Neisseria meningitis is serotype B vaccine known as the mens BOMV and the antigens form a four component Neisseria meningitis zero group B vaccine known as the Bexero to the gonococcal proteins. Uh, this graph shows the use of the uh, trend of uh, Neisseria gonorrhea infection in three different regions of the New Zealand during, uh, during the outbreak of meningococcal meningitis when they used the meningococcal vaccination during 2004 and 16. It was observed that they simultaneously declined the reported cases of the gonorrhea infection. There is the future prospect of the new vaccines against the STIs in which the Nazaria Gloria strategies proteomics explore the OMV platform for the group B meningococcal vaccination, which is in the preclinical stage. Now the global trends. One in the five people in the US have an STI totally needing 68 million STIs in 2018. There were 26 million new STIs in 2018. Almost half of the STIs were among the young population, 15 to 24 years of age. New STIs totally nearing 16 billion in the direct medical cost. Gonorrhea by age, in 2018, the highest rate among the females were observed among 20 to 24 years and 15 to 19 years. Among males, the rate was highest among the age group, 20 to 24 years and 25 to 29 years. Gonorrhea by race and Hispanic ethnicity, the rate among the blacks was 7.7 .7 times the rates among the whites and the Asians, which is about 71.1 cases per 1 million population. 2018's STD surveillance report highlights, which shows that the gonorrhea infection about 5,083,405 uh, like cases, 63% increase in, since 2014. One in five people in the U.S. have an STD, totally nearing 68 million infections in 2018, 26 million new STIs in 2018, and in nearly costing about 16 billion in direct medical cost. This graph shows the incidence and the prevalence of the uh, different STIs in which the gonorrhea, the prevalence of the gonorrhea is to like 9,000 and 1.6 million incidents. Here are the references of my presentation, now the MCQ section. At 25, 24 years old, I'm requesting testing for the STIs. He has a new female partner and he's interested in making sure he doesn't have any STI. Currently, he has no urinary symptoms. Which one of the following diagnosis tests is the most sensitive for detecting the urethral nasiria gonorrhea infection? A. Yes, it's A. 29 years old, he is is sexually active with both men and women and diagnosed before, twice before gonorrhea, admitted to the hospital with a suspected diagnosis of disseminated gonococcal infection. Which one of the following is true regarding the disseminated gonococcal infection? All patients with disseminated gonococcal infection should have evaluation with echocardiogram, Oligoarticular arthritis is a frequent manifestation of the disseminated gonococcal infections. All patients with disseminated infection should have evaluation with lumbar picture B. and perihepatitis in 90%. B. B. It's B. Arthritis is the frequent, most frequent manifestation of the disseminated gonococcal infection. Gnorrhea causing bacteria is which type of the bacteria? Gram positive diplococci, mm. gram positive bacteria. Gram negative diplococci and gram negative vesicle. C. Yes, it's gram negative diplococci. Nizeria gnorrhea is one of the most common cause of the STIs. All of the following are, in, are the infections caused by the Nizeria gnorrhea except genital gnorrhea in women, PID in men, neonatal conjunctivitis, pharyngitis. B. Pelvic infirmity disease in men. Disease in men, pelvic infirmity disease in women. 
babies who have contracted gonorrhea of the eye from the other infected mother have the disorder called pelvic infection disease cervicitis pharyngeal gonorrhea of salvia neonatorum d d of salvia neonatorum yes first global paper period is going to be held in 2015 2015 19 18 and 16 d 2015 This urea and prolonged discharge of the cataract of cytomegalovirus, syphilis, gonorrhea, and herpes. Gonorrhea. B. Nasally gonorrhea. Second trimester. 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 Test has a low specificity and sensitivity, and high in in the symptomatic and high prevalence population. C. Yes, it's C. High sensitivity and specificity in the symptomatic and high prevalent populations. The highest incidence of the gonorrhea happens in which age group? Nine to fifteen to thirty-two. Yes, it's fifteen to twenty-four. A is the key. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Maida. Uh, you have uh, a wonderful presentation today. Uh, I want to emphasize few points uh, that, as you have said, that uh, disseminated gonorrhea it is uh, one of the most uh, important uh, clinical features are arthritis. My question from the class is: What is the most common symptom? or the first symptom of gonorrhea can anybody answer this question abdominal uh, discharge more abdominal pain okay yeah, the first uh, symptom is usually burning mercury or pain during chances uh, 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 the is uh, 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 so the first please everyone mute your mics okay the first symptom is uh, burning micuration or pain during micuration that is the most common first symptom of gonorrhea and सॉरी मैम आपकी आवाज नहीं सही आ रही मैम कांट है यू We know that gonorrhea is a curable disease, is a preventable disease. However, they are cured or treat, and uh, they can be like, started at the right time. So, okay, uh, what, Dr. Maida, would... now Sorry, in a face-to-face -face meeting, right? We should stop here. Allah Hafiz. See you next time, Inshallah. Allah Hafiz.